What essentially started Record the Journey was my own journey back to self is what I call it. Three combat deployments and the last one in particular, I lost some people in some pretty heinous ways. And one of the challenges of being home is reconciling sort of who you were before the war with who you are after the war. For me, I did all the wrong things, trying to produce adrenaline and uh, getting in my head. I get a lot of inspiration from nature, so I was doing some off-roading, and while I was out there, I picked up a camera. And how that came about is, you know, when you look through the lens of a camera, you have to be completely present or you miss the moment that you're looking for. You're not thinking about the past, you're not thinking about the future, you're simply in the moment. So I started taking some other veterans with me. We all sort of had similar experiences. It's simply sharing a moment, sharing a common experience, and sharing that journey back to self and creating that common bond. One of the benefits of the Rebel Rally is being able to completely unplug, slow down, and get single focused. But I also think the other thing that is so amazing about the tribe rebel that, that emerges at the end of these, uh, you know, if you did the first rebel or the fourth, that, that bond and that connection will always be there. This year we decided to try and sponsor an adaptive veteran, an adaptive athlete is the term I prefer, because you have to be an athlete to come out to the rebel. We identified a, a young lady who's a U.S. Air Force veteran of seven years who had a um, progressive neurological disease, who is a quadriplegic essentially because of the, the neuro conditions, who's in a wheelchair, who we sponsored for the rally this year. Honestly, it's been huge. Um, to have a company like Mitsubishi step in and really support a small nonprofit like Record the Journey, one means that they care about the little people and the veterans of this you know, community, and it really means that they're trying to step out and make sure that the community is always taken care of, and that's really cool to see from a big company. I respect the term broken, but I don't identify with it. I have certainly suffered, I have certainly had really dark moments, but I don't believe that that breaks you. I believe that character is formed in darkness, not in light. And, uh, you know, when I was younger, I used to believe the worst thing could happen is you could fall down and stumble. As I got older, I've changed that perspective and I realized that everyone falls. The worst thing that can happen is you don't surround yourself with a community that reaches down to help pick you up.